Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I'm Fred. So uh, today, I've got the garage door open, airing out the shop a little bit. So we're going to plasma cut the uh, the new stands for the uh, rotary table. The other one was uh, okay, but I couldn't uh, move the table down 90 degrees. So with the 12-inch uh, uh, indexing plate that I have here. So what we're going to do is uh, I've got some old uh, bearing races I always use for uh, making circles and stuff. So Today we're going to plasma cut these uh, pieces of metal and uh, yeah, and get them all set up for uh, welding. All right, hang in there. Okay, guys, I'm just going to get my helmet on, get some gloves on, and we're going to cut out this uh, the circle here. I might have to reposition that uh, that clamp there. Yeah, let's uh, reposition it so I can get in here and uh, get this aluminum bar here repositioned a little bit as well so I've made an outline here with a sharpie exactly where I'm going to be coming off so we need to get that all indexed there all right and then we'll do the same thing for the other side and then do the other plate as well. All right. Get my two gloves on here and uh, we'll go to her. Here, there we go. I'm putting a circular design in here. Alright, let's see the other side there. There, I think we got her now. Alright. Let's carry on here. like we're going to slap this out here, this off, uh, bring this in, and this will be mounted to this piece of steel here like that. Then I have the bearing that sits here, and uh, she'll be a little bit higher, just what I wanted. So yeah, that'll work out perfect. All right, hang in there, guys. Okay, guys, so we've got the uh, two plates cut out. I've got the holes drilled for the uh, bearing blocks here that fit on the end of the uh, rotary uh, table there, or the um, yeah, indexing table, whatever you want to call it. So uh, yeah, we're just going to clean up two spots here, and uh, we're going to tack these into place. Right like this here, a couple welds, get it all squared up, and uh, yeah, I'll get both of these done tonight, and uh, uh, we'll call it quits. After that, I got uh, a couple things to do first thing in the morning. Anyways, all right, hang in there. Let me get the welders. Okay, guys, we're just going to do a couple of uh, stitches here. Back welds first. All right. 
get a little st stitch weld there, one on the back side, one over here, and, uh, and that'll be it. All right, let's get to it. So guys, that's it for tonight. Um, got them out the bearings, go in here like so. That's hot right now. Okay. But this way here, then the little shafts will go in. The little shafts on the end of the uh, post here, if you can see that, maybe not. Okay, I'll show you later. Uh, and that's it. All right. So we've got the uprights done. We got to make a couple center pieces and. Uh, and uh, fit the, the head on there. Make sure I got good travel. And uh, yeah, at least then the uh, new frame is done, the control box is done, and uh, yeah, I can ready start using it. All right, hang in there. Let me. Okay, guys. So uh, yeah, we're done for tonight. Got the uprights uh, welded up, and uh, tomorrow if I have time, I'll get the bearings mounted, and get the uh, the main head installed and then make the uh, short pieces on the side um, to secure the feet and then we'll mount the control box so that's uh that's going to be it for tomorrow uh anyways i'd like to say thanks to all my subscribers thanks to all my new subscribers thank you for hanging in there you have a great night bye for now